my Greek chicken platter, we're gonna start with the marinade for the chicken. So here I have two chicken breasts. I'm gonna say they're, they're kind of on the medium side. I'm sure you guys have seen those giant <laughs> um, chicken breasts. I also could split these if I want to, but I'm gonna keep them this way to marinate them. So we start with some garlic. Here I have two cloves of garlic, and what I'm gonna do is just mash them with the skin on, and what that'll do is not only get the skin off for me pretty easily, but it's gonna kind of mince them up a little. I'm gonna remove these once I've marinated this chicken, so I'm not even gonna chop them. And you see, they're kind of just a little bit smashed. So we got the garlic going. Next, we're gonna do two teaspoons of olive oil. We'll put that in our bowl. Two teaspoons of olive oil. Just kind of plain olive oil, nothing special. Then next, I'm gonna do some oregano flakes. This is to eyeball, so, or to taste. Just gonna sprinkle some. I like a lot of oregano. I find that the garlic, lemon, and oregano is what really gives it that flavor of Greek. So you can see, I just kind of dusted the bowl with the oregano. I'm gonna do a couple pinches of salt. Now just remember, this is the marinade. You can kind of go heavy on the salt at this point. Some of it's gonna come off when you cook it. Also doing a little bit of pepper. Next is my lemon. I love lemon. Um, that's kind of a fun fact about me. I love it on steamed vegetables with salt and pepper, the best, especially broccoli and string beans. So I love it in marinades. Also, it gives that acidity and kind of tenderizes the chicken with, with a yummy lemon flavor to it. I'm just gonna poke out a couple of those seeds. If you get seeds in this, like I said, it's the marinade. Not a big deal, you can just remove them before you cook the chicken. And also I wanted to mention, you don't wanna marinate this too long. I don't really like to do it overnight because there's so much acidity in this. So actually, let's see. It's about 3.30 here right now. We're having it for dinner tonight. So this will marinate probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So we got a lot of lemon in there. You can see I got a couple seeds, but it's okay. Then we'll throw in our garlic. Again, keeping it just that smashed kind of way. I'm just gonna grab a fork and I'm just gonna kind of just mix it around a little bit, get all those Yummy flavors combined. No big deal, very kind of simple. No, me too much measuring. I do measure the oil because that has points, of course. So next, move this over here. We're gonna get the chicken in. And both breasts should sit flat in the bowl. So of course, if you're making four breasts or more, four chicken breasts, you'll need to get a bigger bowl. So they all lay flat in the marinade. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna cover this bowl and I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to cook it. Now I will come and every so often just turn them over just so they can kind of get a little bit more, get the garlic and all of that. So there we have it, that's our marinated chicken. Cover this up, stick it in the fridge. While I'm waiting for the chicken to marinate, I'm gonna make one of my favorite parts of this Greek platter. It is the tzatziki sauce. <laughs> so I'm using the Fage Zero. This is my favorite one, it's nice and thick. 
and it is zero points on the blue plan. So I'm gonna just tell you, I don't measure anything in this. I don't really have a recipe and I apologize for that. It's gonna be very much to your taste. I do put dill, fresh dill in my tzatziki sauce. I've had Greek tzatziki from an actual Greek restaurant and I noticed they don't put garlic and they don't put any dill in it. I think what they're putting in is mint. So certainly that's an option. I'm just gonna run down what I put in my tzatziki sauce. So I'm gonna use about half this lemon. We'll see how juicy it is once I cut it. I put a clover of garlic and you'll see what I'm gonna do with this in a minute. Lots and lots of dill as you can see. Like I said, it's to taste if you're using the dill. Go by how you like it. I love the dill in this. It's to me is the best part of it. And it goes well, very well with the garlic and lemon juice. Salt and that is it. So let me just scoop a little of this yogurt in here. Now you see, it kind of has that wateriness that comes to the top. You don't want to throw that away. That's the good stuff. That's just kind of the cultures in there and the liquid from the yogurt. So I just kind of mix that back in. It's gonna settle down again and you're gonna to have to remix it. So let's see. Also, I wanted to mention, if you have leftovers of this tzatziki sauce, which I'm hoping to, <laughs> um, it's great, of course, leftover with the rest of the items that we're having but also dip some toasted pita in it. If you get those Joseph's pita, they're one point, and you can just toast those up real quick or just eat them plain dipped in this tzatziki sauce. Oh, it's like heaven. So let's move that out of the way. Next, I think I'm gonna do the lemon. Like I said, I'm gonna see how much lemon juice this produces. Seems like it's gonna give me a lot. It's kind of a big lemon. So maybe I'll just do a quarter of the lemon. Let's start with that. Now, unlike the marinade, I do want to strain out the seeds and these lemons seemed really full of seeds. So let's squeeze that in. Yeah, th this lemon is very, very juicy. I think they're a little bit older when I bought them. So they tend to have a lot of juice. That's a pretty good amount. I might stick with that if you can see how much I have in there. We'll of course taste at the end and see what it tastes like. So for my garlic, I just have one bulb of raw garlic. So just remember that too. I don't like to go too crazy with it. I do love garlic, but it can be a little bit on the strong side. So I'm gonna just do the one. So what I do with this is, again, I smash it. The skin already kind of popped off, but I'm just gonna trim it up. That little piece at the end did have a little bit of skin that I couldn't see. Oh, there's skin on this side too, okay. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to start slicing it. Keeping your fingers out of the way. And I like to just kind of take it all together, run my knife this way. So this is like the safest way to do the little small bits of garlic. Once I kind of get it a little bit smaller, I am going to add a good pinch of salt. I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I've sprinkled the salt just on top. What I'm doing is kind of rubbing it into my cutting board. Also, I think I mentioned in another cook with me, what I do is I put a damp paper towel underneath my cutting board and you'll see it doesn't really move as I'm doing this because it would have a tendency to do that. And it could wind up across the counter. <laughs> So you can already see how kind of pasty it gets. I love this idea. And you're not gonna chew on a giant piece of garlic. And you can do this for as long as you want. 
I don't usually get too fussy about it. You can see it's already turned into a paste. Gather all that yumminess, put it in the bowl. Okay, next, my favorite part. So I did wash this, pretty much dry it. You don't have to be too crazy about that either. I take these bigger, woodier stems off. No need to include those. I got just about all of them. Again, not fussy. It's like all of this is going to be chopped up. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. So I just kind of gather this all together. And we're going to chop this. Watching out for your fingers. I kind of do a claw. So if my knife slips a tiny bit, it'll just slip on the board and won't cut my finger. And again, I do that kind of rocking, chopping motion with my other hand on the blade. Safest way to do it once you get to a smaller chop. We are just going to mix this up a little bit. That is a lot of dill, Whew, even for me. <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome. And of course, if you find when you taste it that you've added way too much of something, you can certainly add a little bit more yogurt. Yeah. Every time I make it, it kind of does turn out a little bit different. Sometimes if I'm kind of running a little low on the dill, I don't get that good dilly flavor. Maybe the garlic peeks through a little bit. You can ask, also add more garlic. That would be delicious. So I'm going to wash up. Lastly, I'm going to add a little bit more, more salt. Now also, when I taste this, I'm going to taste for salt and garlic and lemon and the dill. And if it's okay, I put this in the fridge. So now I'm still only about an hour and a half away from dinner, maybe two hours. So this is going to sit and kind of meld in the refrigerator. It's going to be delicious. So let me just taste this. Mm. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. I am going to add a little bit more garlic. I'm not really getting the garlic. So let me go do that. Let me get another piece of garlic. Well, folks, <laughs> I forgot to hit record once I got the little bitty garlic piece. So I did the same process. I, I cut it, added the salt, chopped it some more, made it into a paste. I added just another pinch of salt into the mixture. And like I mentioned, I am going to put this in the fridge and everything's going to mellow out. And the garlic's probably going to come through a little bit more once it gets mixed in there. This is the finished tzatziki sauce. It's going to be so, so good. I'm going to get some of the prep work done while my chicken is still marinating. And I did flip it over a couple times um, just to get the marinade all over the chicken. So what I like to serve with this Greek platter is some zucchini. And I have two medium zucchini, and I'm just gonna show you how I prep that. I have my lemons, which I'm gonna squeeze on the zucchini after it comes out of the pan. I'm gonna saute that. I also have these, I don't know if you can see them. Here we go. These are the little mini naan breads. Now, of course, traditionally it would be pita, but these are so yummy. They are kind of high in points. I'm gonna write the points on the screen, but they're worth it. They're so delicious. And they're great to dip in the tzatziki when you have leftovers of that, along with some cucumber. I kind of make a little snack plate with that. It's delicious. So I'm just gonna cut the cucumber into little rounds, almost like chips. Um, like I had mentioned, this is just for my husband and myself. So I'm not going to do a super amount of um, items. <laughs> Cucumber is just kind of a side 
note to it, I guess you could say. Um, it's, you know, it's fun to have kind of the traditional flavors in the Greek platter. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. And if you have leftover tzatziki on your plate, it's nice to kind of finish dipping that with your cucumber. So you know what, before I do the zucchini, I'm gonna cut up some Kalamata olives. Little story about the olives. I am not a big olive fan. When I first tried these Kalamata, I thought, oh my goodness, they are so strong. Well, I got used to them and now I absolutely love them. I would never reach in this jar and eat them the way they are, but they're delicious in this Greek platter. Now these are whole Kalamata olives, so I have to get the pits out and I'll show you the quick way that I do that. To get the pit out of the olive, I just smash it with my knife, just like I did with the garlic. The pit comes right out. It's quite big, which I was kind of surprised at, <laughs> not being an olive eater. And I just take the two halves and I'm gonna just arrange them on my little bowl that I have and I'm gonna serve it all in, just like that. No, no big deal. And five of these olives are a serving. They are, they do have points on blue. So I'm gonna leave the points down below. The next thing I'm gonna prep are my zucchini. So I've already washed this. I dried it a little bit. There's still some water on there. And what I like to do is just take the ends off, just the very end. I like to split it lengthwise. And you can either do half moons, which would be just chop, 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 or you can split it again down length width. You can split it again lengthwise and chop, chop, chop. I think I'm gonna do half moons today. And you just go down like that. No like crazy, you know, knife cuts. You can do kind of whatever you want. I have done this on the grill outside in the summer. And what I actually do is I kind of make them into thicker, I guess you could say half moons, but like this way. So they're kind of longer and bigger. And I grill each one individually. And I slather it with a little bit of oil and lemon juice and oregano. This is gonna be the quick version. <laughs> I'm just gonna saute this in a pan with some spray and then when they're kind of halfway through i'm going to add the garlic i'm sorry halfway through i'm going to add the oregano salt pepper when they're all cooked up i'll sprinkle just a little fresh lemon juice over the top and here's the finished product of my greek platter so i'll just run through what's here there's my chicken the zucchini, cucumber, the olives. And see how the zucchini looks burnt? It's actually not. I cooked it in the pan where I cooked the chicken. I took the chicken out. So it's got all that yummy lemon juice and a little bit of the oil from the marinade of the chicken. And there's the yummy tzatziki. And there's our toasted mini naan. And they're gonna be yummy all together. And of course you can add some um, hummus to this. That would be delicious too. So we're gonna sit down and enjoy this. Have a great day.